Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Mark Collins and I want to talk about the hurricane track cone because it's led to some mis- uh, perceptions on how to interpret it with Hurricane Ian because a lot of folks, especially around Fort Myers, were focused on that skinny black line in the cone, thinking that the storm was going to move along that line and that that represents where the storm is going to hit. And that's not really the case. In fact, all that skinny black line does shows the middle of the cone, which represents the average errors of the hurricane forecast over the past five years. So what do I mean by that? Well, think about the cone as being a forecast in time. And as you go further out in time, the forecast gets a little less accurate. So when we take a look at the cone and we go out in these individual time periods, the forecast gets wider and wider for those errors. So closer to landfall, the average error is only about 50 miles either side of the track. As you go out five days in the cone, it can be as much as 250 miles on either side of the track. And that's why the cone gets wider as you go through time. So really, all the cone is, is not a cone, but a track of circles. And the hurricane could be within anywhere in that circle at that specified time. For communication, you, we put a cone on it or the National Weather Service decided to put a cone on it and they actually don't include the black line because it's such a misconception. In fact, take a look here and you can see from the National Hurricane Center's website that there is no black line, but notice that Fort Myers was always in the cone. So it's better to pay attention to the cone and if you are in the cone that you could be impacted by the storm. The other downside to the cone is that it says nothing about the actual impacts from the hurricane. It's just a timing of when the storm could be making landfall. As we take a look with Julia that's moving towards Nicaragua, you notice here at Channel 4, we don't use the black line. So anywhere from San Andreas to Bluefields, Nicaragua, that's the area that could be making, could feel impacts from this storm. So hopefully in the future, uh, you pay more attention to the cone versus the black line. And if you're at the National Hurricane Center's website, they give you the option to turn off that black line.